Hey everybody, Jeremy here, and in today's video, I'm going to be making jambalaya inside of the Ninja Foodi. So you probably can't see all the stuff around me, but let me tell you, there's quite a few ingredients involved in making this recipe. Uh, just over here, I've got myself some bell peppers, celery and dewy sausage, rice, scallion, shrimp. I've got thyme and some other stuff that's just all over the place. So if you want to make this recipe, just know there's going to be a little bit of prep work involved before you can actually start cooking. But once you do, the process from there is still fairly simple. I'm going to leave a link in the description of this video where you can see all of the recipes and all of the steps right there on Ninja's website. So let's get started with the very first step. We're going to start cooking that sausage. All right, so I got myself 24 ounces of andouille sausage that we are going to cook in here first. So first we're going to hit the sear saute function and we're going to turn it on medium high heat and we're going to hit start inside of the pot already. You can probably see it just a little bit. Um, that's going to be two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. So that's going to heat up and then when it's done, we're going to throw the sausage in there and let it cook. In goes the sausage. Got like a little slotted spoon. I'm just gonna mix that around so that that oil coming to contact with the sausage. Get it nice and coated and I'm gonna cook these for maybe about five minutes or so, you know, until they get more brown. Then I'm just gonna take them out and put them aside. I'll come back when that's done. All right, so we got quite a few pieces in there that have uh, browned up like this one right here, as you can see. So yeah, I'm gonna say that this is good enough. I don't wanna take it too far. So I'm gonna scoop this out and I'm putting it on a paper towel that's on a plate. I'm leaving all of that oil behind because we're going to need that for the next batch of ingredients that we put in here. All right, so we got all of the sausage out. And as a challenge, I dare you to not eat one of them as you're putting it away. Now I'm going to be adding some celery, bell pepper and onions. This is like four stalks of celery that I've cut up along with two green bell peppers. My hands are clean, <laughs> in case you're wondering. Now as for the onion, it doesn't look like a lot of onion. Now my wife does not really care for onion. The recipe calls for two onions chopped up and put in here. What you saw there was probably like a fourth of an onion but I do have more onion that I can put in here. With the uh, onion that I added in here, I want to say that this is about, I want to say about almost one onion to one onion, but you can use two onions if you want. I might put more in there, I am not sure. But the whole thing is, is to cook this until those onions can become kind of translucent. So just give it a few minutes. and just keep working it around. All right, so that's been around three minutes or so. So now we need to start adding some garlic and some other things. Now the recipe calls for six cloves of garlic. I don't have garlic cloves. Instead, I already, I have, well, you can't see that. Instead, I have minced garlic already. Um, and from what I can tell, six cloves of garlic means about six teaspoons of this already minced garlic. So I'm just gonna add uh, six teaspoons of that into here. I'm also gonna put in two teaspoons of chili powder. That's one teaspoon. Two teaspoons. This is about two teaspoons of thyme. And lastly, about a teaspoon of paprika and mix all of that up. Now all that right there, that's gonna cause a lot of fragrance to just smack you right in the face. 
This ain't gonna take long. So once you put it in there, just stir it up. Give it half a minute or so. And then you are done with this portion. Now we can start adding the rice. So I'm gonna add two cups of rice. It's all starting to come together. And that's why it's so important to make sure that you already have these ingredients already out and ready to go. Because if you got it on medium high heat and everything is cooking and you take too long to add the rest of the ingredients, you could run the risk of just straight up burning everything. So just make sure that you have everything on deck as you start to cook. All right, so the rice has got all that oil on it, all those ingredients and all those flavors. Perfect. And all that extra volume is going to uh, cool things down a bit inside of the pot as well. So you have some breathing room. Now, let's add two teaspoons of salt. That's one teaspoon. This is kosher salt, by the way. Two teaspoons of this. And I have two cans of petite diced tomatoes. Uh, the size of the can is 14.5 ounces. So I have two cans of that that I'm gonna put in here too. And one of the last things that we're gonna do before we start to pressure cook is I'm gonna add two cups of chicken broth. I decided to go for the uh, low sodium or reduced sodium chicken broth, you know, just in case. All right, let's mix all of that new stuff up. Now, I really like this consistency right now because it's not too watery. And you can just kind of tell that once we get all the other stuff in here and once the pressure cooking is done and everything, it's going to be a really nice, really nice consistency, similar to how it is now. All right, so everything is incorporated. We are going to pressure cook. All right, so make sure that you're sealed. Turn it on. Pressure high for two minutes. And while that's going on, you probably have cans lying around. You probably have the tops of packages that you've torn off. Kitchen might be looking a bit of a mess. So take this opportunity to tidy things up just a little bit. I know I am. So I'll see you when the pressure cooking is done. We're going to release it and then we are going to continue the process of jambalaya. Okay, so while the pressure cooking is going on and we cleaned up a little bit, we have a little bit of time to breathe and focus on this shrimp here. Now this is two pounds of shrimp. Um, so when you get them, of course, make sure that they have been deveined, they've been cleaned and uh, remove the tails, you know, the part that you really can't chew all that well, and remove that little outer casing around the shrimp that's uh, almost like plastic and kind of difficult to chew through. If you're like me and the ones that you got didn't already have the, the outer casings peeled off, it's going to take you quite a bit of time to peel all that stuff off. But fortunately, it is easy. So I got the shrimp out here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to coat them with two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. A teaspoon of chili powder. A teaspoon of salt. And a teaspoon of pepper. I'm just going to kind of eyeball this one. All right. Now let's mix it up. So the pressure cooking is done and I let the pressure naturally release for five minutes. And now that that time has passed, we're gonna do a quick release. All right, all done. Let's see what it looks like.
Yeah, you see that? That is nice and thick, in my opinion, without being too thick and without being too watery. Now, at this point, we're going to grab the sausage from earlier and toss it right back in here. And mix the sausage in. Feel free to grab the handle on the Ninja Foodi to give you a little more leverage. That's what I'm doing. Cool. So now I'm just going to try to smooth it out. You don't have to do this. It's just what I'm going to do. Because the next part, we have to lay down the shrimp. All the little shrimp that we have, we're just going to put them down in here. You could dump them all over if you want. But what I'm just going to do, because this is what the recipe said, and I'm just going to follow it regardless, is just to kind of put the shrimp in basically like circles from the outside in. And then we are going to roast them for about seven minutes. Now it says do it tail side up. It really does not matter. You know, I think that's just for presentation sake, maybe. But we're just going to cram all this shrimp into here. They probably said tail side up so that you can fit all of them in here. But, you know, these little squishy things, they're not going to cooperate. So I'm going to put all this shrimp in here and uh, I'll see you when I'm done. So that's how I did it. I just pretty much put as many as I could into a tight circle and then I put some of them tails up around the outer part of it. But yeah, that's as good as I can do. So let's close this lid and let's put it on bake roast. Keep it at 375 and we're going to do it for seven minutes. As the jambalaya is finishing up, I did want to show you guys an upcoming video that I am going to be putting out for this Arrow Garden. So this is an Arrow Garden Harvest Elite, and I've had this for about two weeks. And what it's doing is basically I'm growing some lettuce and I'm growing some herbs over here. So, um, yeah, I'm going to be uh, cooking with this stuff once it matures and grows to be an appropriate size but uh not gonna spend too much time on this but i just want to let you know that once i've reached the one month period or basically however long it takes for me to harvest something i'm going to be putting out a video that shows the growth and the progress of all the plants and herbs in this arrow garden over that time all right so anyway let's get back to the food that's actually ready to eat all right that was seven minutes let's see what we got Ooh, that looks good. All right, all right. Well, the shrimp was already cooked and frozen before I thawed it out and put it in here, but it's even more so now. So what we would do in this case is grab a bowl and we're gonna try this out. All right, so here are those scallions I told you about. And just to be fancy, you know, they want you to top it with scallions, put some greenery on it, make it look you know, nice and restaurant-y, I guess. But what's important is the taste of this. So I got a little bit of everything. We got some shrimp. We've got the rice, the sausage. I'm going to mix everything up and give it a taste. Got that shrimp there. Poke through that sausage. There we go. It's like a skewer of goodness right there. All right, let's try it. Mm hmm. That's good. That is good. You know, with so many ingredients that went into this, I was a little worried that, you know, something would be a little bit overpowering, but it all came together very nicely in the end. Um, if you're wondering if it's spicy, no, it's not spicy at all. Even with the chili powder, 
it is not spicy. And this was um, Cajun style andouille sausage. And this isn't spicy either. This is good. Yeah, I'm not just saying that. It really is legitimately good. I think the scallions add a little bit to it as well. This is very hearty, and there is a lot in here. So, so if you're cooking for a family, this will be great because I just have a little corner of this pot filled with this with this wonderful jambalaya, and it tastes really good. And, is, and there's a lot left. Perfect for you to take to lunch as a snack, as an excuse to not cook for like a day or two, depending on the size of your family. So yeah, I truly, truly, highly recommend this recipe. Ninja did a great job putting it together. I'm gonna leave a link in the description once again so that you can find this and try it out for yourself and to add adjustments and tweaks and do whatever else you would like to do with it. But yeah, I am totally down with this. And it looks kind of pretty too. Awesome. So thank you all so much for watching this video. And until next time, I'm Jeremy and I'll talk to you later.